Hip-hop, once a voice for the voiceless now echoes with gunshots. Beef, an inherent part of the culture, has gone too far. From playful jabs to fatal blows, the stakes have reached a fever pitch. We've lost legends and rising stars, their potential silenced by bullets. This ain't a game, this is real life, this is death by diss track, a deadly symphony playing out on our streets and screens. It's time we face the music. The glorification of violence in hip-hop has consequences. Young lives are cut short, families are shattered, and communities are left reeling. We must acknowledge the pain, the fear, and the urgent need for change. This ain't about censorship, it's about responsibility, about protecting our own. Drill music, raw and uncompromising, emerged as the soundtrack of the streets. Its gritty realism resonated with a generation grappling with poverty, violence, and systemic oppression. From Chicago to Brooklyn, London to Melbourne, Drill's infectious beats and unflinching lyrics spread like wildfire. But with its rise came a dark side. Drill often blurred the lines between art and reality, boasting about real-life violence and territorial disputes. Lyrics became taunts, diss tracks turned into hit lists, and the streets became stages for deadly rivalries. This ain't about judging a genre. It's about understanding the context, the environment that birthed this raw, unfiltered sound. It's about recognizing the desperation, the lack of opportunity, the feeling of being trapped. Drill is a reflection of a harsh reality, a cry for help disguised as aggressive anthems. The names are etched in our minds, a grim reminder of the human cost of these feuds. Tupac, Biggie, Nipsey Hussle, X Tentation, Pop Smoke, King Von. Each loss sent shockwaves through the hip hop community and beyond, leaving behind a void filled with grief and unanswered questions. These weren't just artists, they were sons, brothers, fathers, friends. Their deaths ripped holes in families and communities, leaving behind a legacy of pain and unfulfilled potential. Their voices, silenced prematurely, serve as a haunting reminder of the fragility of life and the devastating impact of violence. We remember their music, their impact, their dreams, but we also remember the violence that cut their lives short. The pain of their absence is a constant reminder of the urgent need for peace. We must break the cycle, honor their memory by creating a world where their deaths are not in vain. Chicago, a city steeped in musical history, has become synonymous with drill and its deadly consequences. The streets are battlegrounds, and the body count continues to rise. Lil Durk, a prominent voice from the city, carries the weight of this tragedy on his shoulders. He's lost friends, collaborators, and rivals, the pain etched on his face. His story is not unique, it's a shared narrative in cities across America where poverty, lack of opportunity, and systemic racism fuel a cycle of violence. Young black men are disproportionately affected, their lives treated as expendable. This ain't just about gang violence, it's about a system that has failed these communities, leaving them vulnerable and desperate. It's about the lack of resources, the absence of hope, the feeling of being invisible. We must address the root causes, invest in these communities, and offer real opportunities for change. The media, often accused of profiting from tragedy, plays a dangerous game. Headlines scream about the latest beef, social media amplifies the drama and speculation runs rampant. Clicks equal revenue and the thirst for sensationalism often overshadows the human cost. Instead of promoting understanding and seeking solutions, the media often fuels the fire. Rivalries are sensationalized, diss tracks are dissected for hidden meanings, and every Instagram post becomes potential evidence. This relentless focus on conflict only exacerbates tensions pushing artists further into a corner. We need responsible reporting, journalism that sheds light on the complexities of these situations without contributing to the problem. We need platforms that prioritize peace over profit, truth over titillation. The media has the power to be a force for good, to amplify voices calling for change and spotlighting solutions. The commodification of tragedy is a disturbing trend. T-shirts with the faces of deceased rappers become fashion statements. Albums released posthumously become morbid collector's items. The line between honoring legacy and exploiting death becomes blurred. 
Are we as consumers complicit in this cycle? By supporting those who profit from pain, are we perpetuating a system that values notoriety over human life? It's a question we must ask ourselves. We have a responsibility to be conscious consumers, to support artists who promote peace and uplift their communities. This ain't about disrespecting anyone's hustle. It's about questioning the ethics of profiting from tragedy. It's about demanding more from the industry, pushing for a culture that values life over death, peace over violence. It's easy to get caught up in the music, the drama, the larger-than-life personas, but we must remember that behind the beats, behind the lyrics, behind the social media facades, are real people with families, dreams, and fears. These aren't characters in a video game, they're fathers, sons, brothers, friends. They bleed, they hurt, they love. Their lives extend beyond the studio and the stage. We must see them as human beings, worthy of empathy and respect, not just pawns in a deadly game. This ain't about condoning violence or excusing bad behavior. It's about recognizing the humanity in everyone involved. It's about understanding that everyone makes mistakes, that everyone deserves a chance at redemption. We must be part of the solution, not the problem. The ripple effects of this violence extend far beyond the immediate victims. Children are left fatherless, robbed of their innocence, and forced to grapple with unimaginable loss. They grow up in the shadow of tragedy, carrying the weight of their parents' legacies and the trauma of their absence. These children are the hidden victims, their pain often overlooked in the sensationalized narratives. They deserve our attention, our support, and our commitment to breaking the cycle of violence. We must create a world where they can heal, thrive, and reach their full potential. This ain't just about statistics or headlines. It's about real lives shattered, futures uncertain. We must be their advocates, their protectors, their champions. We must invest in their futures, provide them with opportunities, and show them a different path. The time for talk is over. We need action. We need a collective effort to address the root causes of this violence, poverty, lack of opportunity, systemic racism, and the glorification of violence in media. This requires a multi-pronged approach involving communities, artists, industry leaders, and policymakers. We need to invest in underserved communities, providing access to quality education, job training, mental health services, and conflict resolution programs. We need to support organizations working on the ground, those who understand the complexities of these situations and are dedicated to finding solutions. This ain't a quick fix. It's a long-term commitment to change. We must be willing to listen, to learn, to challenge our own biases, and to work together to create a better future for our children. Hip-hop artists have a platform, a voice that reaches millions. They have the power to influence, to inspire, to affect change. We need more artists to use their platforms to promote peace, to speak out against violence, to advocate for their communities. We need role models who embody positive values, who demonstrate that there's another way, a better way. We need artists who use their creativity to heal, to uplift, to empower. We need their voices to drown out the noise of violence and hate. This ain't about silencing anyone, it's about amplifying the voices of peace. It's about promoting a culture of respect, understanding, and conflict resolution. We need artists to lead the way, to show the world that hip-hop can be a force for good. The violence must stop. We cannot afford to lose another life, another talent, another future. We must choose hope over hate, love over fear, unity over division. We must stand together as a community and demand better for ourselves, for our children, for the future of hip-hop. Let us honor the memory of those we've lost by creating a world where their deaths are not in vain. Let us build a future where violence is not the answer, where differences are resolved peacefully and where every life is valued. Let us choose peace. This ain't just a dream, it's a necessity. Our survival depends on it. Let's make it happen.